Right now, if you go to Maxi, you can create an account. They're going to weigh $1,000 to three people split up that sign up with the VIP link that's in the description. So I want to thank everybody for watching Crypto Revolution. We talk about everything crypto almost daily. Jump in right into the market. Today in crypto, Bitcoin sideways price action. The weekly candle barely hanging on. Again, Bitcoin, not an amazing place right now. See a breakdown of the rising broadening wedge. Price actions below the 200. SMA on the weekly and the daily. So again, downside unless the bulls can pull off a miracle move. But you just had a bearish cross of the 21 and the 200 on the daily chart. Bitcoin just been moving sideways for an extended period of time. I've got some amazing shout outs to give in my trading group. The leverage trading group has been killing it 595%, 403, 360, 329, 104, 81, 59. These are just from today. We're nailing the bangers. If you're not in the right coins, I can help you. This is our spot group. We did Terra for 12X, 1200% gains on Terra. Acro, MDT, Maker, 36, 37, 44. You can go to cryptorev.net and you can sign up for the spot group and you'll get all your long setups or you sign up for the leverage group and you can just trade with leverage, follow the leader. We'll give you the best setups to trade. We're going to trade them ourselves and we'll give you constant updates. It's a no-brainer. Right now, again, cryptorev.net, leverage 100 saves you $100 off. Six months, leverage 200 saves you $200 off. 13 months. GFAL is a coin that's listed on, obviously, a lot of the DEXs. It's a small cap. MEXC, this is the daily chart. So you've seen the price action. Try to break out one, two, three, four, five. This would be the sixth attempt. Remember, all the breakouts are fake outs except for one. So when this GFAL breaks higher, that gives you... A lot of upside opportunities, potentially 50% move in the card. So what is GFAL? Games for a living. It's Web3 gaming platform. They've got a couple titles already out. They offer gaming, wallet integration, payments, and they've got a marketplace and analytics tools for the a unique gaming experience. But most important thing here is games for a living has a very strong teams. You got Trip Hawkins, who's the founder and former CEO of Electronic Arts, big name in gaming. Javier Le Leon, he's, a, he's an artist or cinematographer, and he's an Emmy Award nominee. And then in Mark Tormo and Christian Gaskins from Blizzard Entertainment, if you're familiar with World of Warcraft, that's huge, very strong team here. So this is unique because they're approaching gaming with Web3, but the goal is to add existing gaming models without forcing conventional gamers to adopt Web3 mechanics. They want to use emerging technologies to enhance performance and create immersive experience. And so GFAL, again, understand that time and time again, you've come up here and you got rejected. Will you break out here? So go to TradingView, chart this, GFAL, USDT. Wait for the breakout above this level. And again, you might come back here down here to the lower trend line. And there's a buy idea here, because look, it hit it here with a wick, hit it here. It's been bouncing, right? So again, if Bitcoin just does nothing. These gaming coins, and again, this is a smaller cap coin, GFAL on Mexi. If you're not on Mexi, make a Mexi account. There's 2,000 altcoins, and a lot of them are very small caps, and they're right off the DEXs, right? GFAL is listed. I mean, you want to go through Uniswap or PancakeSwap, you can do that. But you could just go to MEXC and you could trade GFAL. And so that's a coin to watch. Bitcoin having coming. Bitcoin reaccumulation. So you see previously 2015, you had the bottom, some reaccumulation as far as the upside goes. The bull market rally in 2017. And then the bear market bottom reaccumulation. And then the run up from, remember on this wick, you had 3,800 and then ran up to 65,000, right? So here you are again, bottomed reaccumulation bull market. Are you guys ready? Remember I talked about yesterday, there's two ways, two, two ways 
to reset the market. Time-based capitulation where people just get bored and they just sell. But also you can get these scary drops out of the market where you get a complete black swan event out of the market and that will ever all the sellers are gone and then you only have buyers left if you get a panic sell-off right and again anything could happen at any time and could and this could cause a sell-off out of bitcoin black swan event so be prepared for something like that or just a little bit boring price action we're still finding the bangers banger after banger right doesn't really matter. All coins are doing collectively. We'll go to all coins. This is the month. They all coins have had a very rough month. We nailed Rune for ridiculous profits, well over 61%. On the weekly, again, a bunch of red coins. What's great about this is we've been short on so many coins. Very easy to make money in this market because everything's red. The daily. We've had a bunch of winners today in spot trading because we've seen some green in the market. This is crypto bubbles. You can Google it and check it out. But again, gives a real good overview of the market. There's an investment fund that sues the SEC over regulation. Private investment funds have collectively, collectively, there's more than one, filed a lawsuit against the U.S., Securities and Exchange Commission, challenging what they perceive as excessive regulatory authority. The lawsuit filed in Washington, D.C. federal court aims for a declaratory judgment that deems the SEC's overreach as unlawful. Let's go. Sign me up. SEC, what are they doing? They argues that the SEC is attempting to extend its regulatory jurisdiction beyond its legal bounds, potentially imposing costly restrictions on fund operations without sufficient evidence of necessity to protect investors. This legal action occurs amidst the surge in private equity and venture capital activity of the United States, highlighting the importance of regulatory clarity in this growing sector. The SEC is being sued by a collective group of private investment funds. So this is amazing news and something to watch in crypto. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.